We recall a concept about Taylor series, which if f of x many times differentiable function of x, then this expansion valid for ak as this and the convergence region for x is this. Many time differentiable, it means that it has first derivative, second derivative, and so on. So we can define ak here, and the convergence here lead you to know that x here is around x0, and I can have equality here if there is any conditional convergence. So now, let x here is equals to x0 plus epsilon, which epsilon is smaller and smaller than 1 but greater than 0, which is infinitesimal value of epsilon. So by this infinitesimal, I can rewrite the expansion as this, and specific term by term as this, which is known as linear approximation, which epsilon may depend on x0. This expansion generally to the first derivative and so on for higher order derivative. So for example, I have previous differential equation by those two initial condition. Then if we let t is equal to t o plus delta t as infinitesimal time shift, r and its first derivative will equal to this, which both second term here I can denote as epsilon and the first derivative of epsilon with respect to t. Here, t0 is about initial time, so I choose this is equals to 0, and then this is r0, and so on, for this is about v0. So, if I plug in those time shifts to our differential equation, we will get this equation, which I can cancel these two, because it satisfies differential equation, and the final result is this, and so on for the another result before. And these two equations let us know that epsilon may be sine or cosine here, and epsilon may be a power minus t here. And that's the method we call solution stability check.